equal idea, sharing the most intimate parts of your life with the governor. But in just a matter of weeks, the Facebook group Periods for Pence has gained national attention. And now they are doing even more than calling the governor's office. RTV6's Melissa Mahadeo joins us live from the State House with this story. Melissa? Yeah, it's hot in Erica. The ongoing message of that group is clear. They want that new abortion law reversed. At the very least, they want the governor to listen to their complaints and issues with it. But the way that they are going about getting his attention, that has evolved. Once upon a time, groups would hold rallies at places like the State House to get someone's attention and spark change. Now they call her. The name says it all. I'm not surprised. A lot of people are mad and hurt and frustrated by this. Pizza in one hand, a pastel in the other. Take your pick, colored pencils, markers, even crayons. But this activity, it's not just for fun. Simply color your junk, literally, as periods for Pence, an online movement with more than 50,000 followers, handed out coloring pages Friday night adorned with the biological parts of a man and a woman. It's the latest movement to get Governor Pence's attention on the controversial abortion law. Essentially, if you want to make decisions about women's health care, then you're going to have to deal with women on their periods, and that's kind of the point. Men, women, and even children coloring their hearts out. I'm glad that so many people came out. Hoping the bright blots... He's not going to be able to ignore it. ...will lend light to their point of view. I don't believe that anybody has the right to tell me what to do with my body. And that group, P for P, they tell me that they intend to collect all of those coloring pages and turn them into coloring books. Those books will then be delivered to the governor's office sometime next week. We'll keep you posted about when that happens. For right now, I'm Melissa Mahadeo, RTV6 News.